tissue damage. There's no way I don't have soft tissue damage. Go film your reaction. Okay. Just hold it like can, that. Can Just they like, see me? They can see you right now. Oh dear. Yeah. Hello, YouTube. I'm still working. He's still working. <laughs> He's the hardest working man I know. I love you so much, honey. Okay. This is from the street. Okay. <laughs> wow. Hun, I didn't know you had that side done. Babe, it's like what I always dreamed. It's my dream house. Oh gosh, that might have been too close to my face. I got excited when I saw I love the red. I love the color shade of blue. I love the white accents. I love it all so much. I know, it's just a primer on that. I did start. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh gosh. Oh, sorry if you didn't get it. It looks. It's all good. So good. I love it. Hi. Ciao. Mom, we love you. Painting is coming right along. Right along. Woo. All right, it is almost eight o'clock, and a quick little side story. This green shelf right here, boom, can you see that? <laughs> Which uh, the boys are painting with me right now. See, <laughs> good job, boys. Basically, this was my first home office. That's right, this was my first office. We bought this piece of furniture at a used furniture store in Denver, and it used to have a centerpiece right in between right in between these two shelves so it basically could hold a TV and that is where I started my video editing career my video editing uh, mission was on these shelves at our first apartment and now they've been uh, delegated to holding all the children's toys outside over there basically it's it's a little tough to get rid of them because um, there's some t sentimentality there. There's some history there, some uh, some backstory to video and you and the YouTube world. So anyway, but it is of highest importance and priority for me to paint these as quick as possible, so we can clear off our back patio and basically put all of these toys back onto here because that's where they're supposed to live. But um, Anyway, so I'm going to go for a run, come back, see how I'm feeling, and see if I can get a little more painting done, including this uh, green shelf. So, listen people, Bridget's excited, as you just saw in that little video, and uh, I'm excited. It's, com it's finally coming together. Alright, I'll give you kind of a big picture view of the patio. Are you ready for this? It's looking Now, it's not done. I still need to do some trim work and some other things, but here you go. Are you ready for this? Old, old color over there. And then here it is. So we added a little red accent there, as you saw earlier in the vlog. And then I just finished up this wall over here, right there. So we're talking exciting. We're just talking exciting. Oh man. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Boom. All right, time to run. Don't mind if I do. Good little jog. Cheers, everybody. Oh, 
man, earned it today. Earned it today. Gonna come up with a question of the day here in 30 seconds. What is your greatest strength? That's a question of the day. What is your greatest strength? Think on it, you know. We've all got strengths and weaknesses. That'll be a question for the, another day, but what is your greatest strength and why? Uh, how do you use it? I think I know what mine is, but I'll share that in a little bit. Filmed this uh, exact scene last night, wrapping up yesterday's vlog. Um, boys, Joseph and Seth, if you ever watched this, if you remember as a child, wait a minute, my father was very busy in the month of July 2017 and was not taking me to the park. Just know it was because of the painting. Holy smokes. We're almost done. Almost wrapping it up. Well, yeah, I would say I'm 68% of the way done. Maybe 70. So, honestly, the front of the house is going to go quick now that I kind of have a rhythm and I know how to do it. But um, anyway, just wrapping it up, boys. Painting the house for you. Love you all. Uh, what is your greatest strength? That is the question of the day. Mine, uh, <laughs> I've thought about that a lot through the, through the years. And it, one of them probably would have to be patience. I do have a lot of patience, which is, uh, you know, it can be a, a positive and a negative if you um, are too patient with some things. But... When it comes to painting, you got to be patient. Just let it come to you. Don't force it. And uh, don't plan on hiring me to paint your house because I think I'll turn you down. Just kidding. Maybe I would paint your house. All right. Seek beauty. Work hard. Love each other. Tomorrow's Monday. I'm back to the grindstone. And I'll be painting in the evenings until this baby is done. And then next week, going on a mountain adventure. So, <sighs> see you tomorrow.